And we want to stay in Mombasa where Governor Ali Hassan Joho has just returned from a two-week American trip and there is some celebration and there is some activity in the coastal town. That's where we find the NTV's Peter Mongangi. Peter, what is happening? Thank you, Larry. We are coming to you live from Mikindani here in Mombasa. This is usually not a very busy road, but as you can see today, there are a lot of cars today. A lot of supporters have gone right inside Mikindani where Governor Hassan Joho and a number of members of parliament from this region have gone there. He was addressing residents. Remember, he landed in Mombasa about an hour ago after being in the United States for about two weeks where he met some government officials from the U.S. government. He also met uh, Kenyans living there in the United States. And he is now back. As you can see, some of his supporters here are making a lot of noise. In fact, it's been like this. It's been chaotic ever since he landed. Uh, our equipment actually was almost broke broken uh, when we were uh, in uh, Changamwe area, a lot of chaos. He was supposed to address the residents there, for an, uh, but his speech was forced to, he had to cut short his speech for a while as his daughters uh, blocked the road and those heading to the airport, I'm sure by now it has uh, opened up, the road has opened up, but at, as at that time it was clogged up. So right now he's embarking on a number of road trips, he'll be addressing residents here in Mikindani, he'll be heading to Saba Saba. Later he will be having a grand, or rather a major rally in Freetown, that is in Kisauni sub-county. Also during his visit, we, we are another co-principal of the national, not another rather, the NASA co-principal that is Musalia Mudavadi has also been here in Mombasa and later this evening he will be, later this afternoon he will be addressing a rally in Likoni area. Remember during Governor Hassan Joho's absence, those seeking to unseat him have been traversing or rather crisscrossing this county asking residents to vote for them. We saw uh, uh, Nyali MP Hezona Witi who is uh, eyeing the wiper ticket uh, or, uh, or rather he wants to vote for the governorship on, the, uh, on a wiper ticket. So um, Hassan Omar who was once Governor Joho's ally now also traversing crisscrossing the county asking to vote for him. So a number of activities have been happening. Uh, we also saw a number of top key uh, aspirants like uh, Kwale governorship uh, hopeful uh, Chirao Ali Makwere who was thought to be in audience has now decamped to Waipa and we are expecting Governor Joho to give a statement or rather to tell aspirants uh, what is the true position of the party. Are they assured of a free and fair nominations? Larry will be bringing you all those updates. We'll be following up the entourage all the way to Freya Town in, Momba, uh, in Kisaoni and we will be bringing you all those updates as they happen here in Mombasa. We're Larry. following that very closely. Peter Mongangi for us in Mombasa. We appreciate that update.